Hey, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you lot are doing oh so well today, and welcome to today's Chelsea news video, where, as per the norm, I'm talking about three news stories going around world football media regarding Chelsea Football Club. And the rags today are saying, Jorginho to Juventus. <laughs> yes, this one again. Apparently, Maurizio Sarri and the old lady have opened up talks with Chelsea and are tabling a £35 million bid? Hmm, doesn't sound too good, does it? Also, I do want to comment on a story that came out a day or two ago. Gabriel Marcotti, the ESPN journalist and respected writer, spoke on a football podcast talking about Jadon Sancho and talked how the player would prefer a move back to London when he leaves Dortmund. Mm. And finally, I want to give a little update on Dries Mertens and how apparently quite a few clubs are in for him and it might be a little bit more difficult than originally assumed to secure the Belgian. So, some big news stories to crack into today, so <laughs> tuck yourself in, sit tight, it's gonna get wild. Um, why not subscribe while you're here, man? <laughs> and hit the bell notifications icon and like the video, bro. Support the movement. All right, let's get into the content. Right, when Maurizio Sarri bowled up at Chelsea Football Club, Chelsea purchased Jorginho. Like I've previously stated on the channel before, his slightly inflated transfer fee had something to do with Sarri arriving at Chelsea because De Laurentiis of Napoli did not want to release Sarri's uh, from Napoli in terms of just giving him to Chelsea as a coach for free because obviously they hired Ancelotti and it was kind of loads of drama. So what they did is they just stuck a little bit on top of Jorginho. Chelsea saved face like they weren't paying for a coach they didn't have to. And basically Jorginho cost Chelsea 57 million pounds. In the grand scheme of things, if you're looking at how much other central midfielders cost, the likes of Fred at Manchester United, he cost 52. Jorginho at 57 is not bad, considering he's now Chelsea's vice captain, he's Chelsea's absolutely cold-blooded penalty taker, which has been really important for Chelsea over the last year and a bit. And also, he's just been a good player in Chelsea's central midfield. He's won the Europa League since, remember? So that one complete season he's been at Chelsea, finished third in the Premier League, got to a final, uh, just lost out on penalties to Manchester City, the champions-elect. And also, he's won the Europa League in fantastic fashion against Arsenal. So, you'd think his stock would go up, no? Well, apparently, no. Down by quite a lot. Juventus have tabled, or apparently are in open talks, to table the first bid to Chelsea at £35 million. More than £20 million less than what Chelsea bought him. Now, this story doesn't really come as a surprise. He's never really replaced his regista, playmaker, quarterback at Juventus. He's played Pjanic in that role a little bit, but you can imagine he'd really want Jorginho there. Now, Frank Lampard loves Jorginho. Most Chelsea fans love Jorginho. Would they consider selling him for the right price? Possibly. They've got Billy Gilmore coming through. They've got Kovacic who can play the deep role. Who knows? Maybe the likes of Ampadu can come back and deputise there too. If the price is right, maybe they would consider it. But I don't think Frank Lampard wants to let him go, and certainly not for £35 million. Granted, I know the financial climate in this health pandemic will be mental, so I get it. Still, you know, I'm, that's way, way too cheap. Granted, it's an opening bid, but it's a low one. Regardless, I'll keep you guys posted on what this story does, where it progresses, and I'll, yeah, just swing by Football Therapy Daily for the news videos, and I'll let you know what one. Hokey Koki, let's talk about Jaden Sancho. Boyhood Chelsea fan, European football superstar, Likely to go to Manchester United. Yes, that's where we're at with Jadon Sancho. That is the truth. It's a problem position for United. They've got the money to spend and they can offer him a handsome financial package. Whereas Chelsea have a lot of starting level wingers and Ziyech, Hudson-Odoi and Pulisic. Uh, sure, he's different gravy, Jadon Sancho, but he wouldn't necessarily be the priority problem position for Frank Lampard and his Blues. Of course, if Man United weren't in from heavily, maybe Chelsea would be like, yeah, let's try and get him. But like I said, financial climate, difficult times. Even if he's not £120 million anymore, it'd still probably be about £90 million, I reckon. Anyway, Manchester United remain the favourites to seal the English right-wingers Signature. Seal the signature? Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> 
But we do know he loves London, he's mates with everyone in London, and like I said, he's a boy at Chelsea fan. Even if he's coming out talking about Wayne Rooney of late, he was talking about Frank Lampard and Didier Drogba not long before. But anyway, self-proclaimed Chelsea fan. Anyway, I don't hold on too tight to that fact, but Gab Marcotti, the ESPN journalist, recently went on a football podcast and they were discussing the young forward. And he said, after Dortmund, he believes he would prefer a move to London. That's right, when he leaves Germany, he would like, or his preferred destination would be back to London. And if you think about London, is it going to be Arsenal or Tottenham? No, probably not. It's going to be Chelsea Football Club. Now, Gabriel Marcotti is a smart dude and respected journalist. So, you hear that and you think, that's good. Lovely, he wants to come to Chelsea. But to be honest, even if there was a large part of Jadon Sancho that wanted to come to Chelsea, he might still really like to go to Manchester United and the situation might dictate he can only go to Manchester United. Gab Marcotti also said in that podcast that he will go wherever it's the well, whichever destination offers him the best situation for his career. So that might be a financial package at Manchester United. That's just the way things are. If United offer him more money, it's a job. He's trying to earn money. He's probably going to go for more money, maybe. This is the world, man. This is how things work. Personally, I'm not so sure Chelsea will go in for Jadon Sancho with, all, with everything that's happened, really, unless it was like some incredible deal. I think they will go for a left back and another forward, someone like Dries Mertens or a striker. If Timo Werner is available, Chelsea will probably go for him, but I'm not sure he will be available. Probably a striker like Osim Hem, Moussa Dembele, Dries Mertens, and I imagine a left back as well. Who knows? The world is a crazy place, man. We could see Jadon Sancho bowl up at Chelsea Football Club. It could happen. Stranger things have happened, right? We've taken players from Manchester United many, many times before. It could happen again. Right then, let's talk about Dries Mertens, as I just mentioned him briefly. Turns out loads of clubs want him. <laughs> Which is not surprising really, even though he's 33, he's in great shape and he'll be a free transfer and he still plays at a very high level indeed. I've explained on Football Therapy before the reasons why he'd be an ideal signing for Frank Lampard's Chelsea Football Club and you could understand why Frank Lampard was going in very hard and calling up the player and trying to convince him to come to Stamford Bridge. Turns out a lot of Italian clubs want him too, most notably Inter Milan, which doesn't surprise me at all. Antonio Conte likes proven players and he doesn't care how old they are. Dries Mertens fits that bill perfectly. He would, he'd want to bring him in, he'd probably give him a three year deal, uh, again signing him on a free, so Inter would probably like that considering how many transfer fees they've had to like fork out recently. And I can see it happening and I can see them offering a longer term deal than Chelsea would offer Dries. Um, and then ultimately earning more money, even if Chelsea offer him more money in the short term, maybe. It really would come down to the player at this point if he fancies a move to London, because like I said, he speaks English and it's a different experience. He might fancy that, or he might want to stay in Syria, the league he knows, and go to an inter team that are very, very strong at the moment, and maybe get a longer contract. We'll have to see. But it's an interesting one. It's troubling, difficult, and uncertain times. Of course, the Bundesliga is starting very, very soon, which is mental. I bet we're all going to start watching German football. We'll have to see what happens with Syria and, you know, what well, Liga earns obviously finished. But um, La Liga as well, we're going to sort of watch this space regarding that. And of course, with the Premier League project restart, so much stuff is still up in the air. Certain things have to be concluded before football can generally move forwards. But while people have got time on their hands and Zoom conferences going, contract talks, agent talks and player talks go on. And as the news comes out throughout the headlines, I keep you guys updated here on Football Therapy. So make sure you are subscribed, make sure you swing by daily, and if you wanna help me out, make sure you like this video. And if you wanna see more of this mug, you're welcome to come subscribe to Jan's Yard, my second channel. I'll leave a link in the top of the description. Uh, what else? You can follow me on social media, at Football Yannick, and that's the platform when I tell you when I'm going to go live. I also go live on Instagram sometimes, so make sure you do come hang out and follow me at Football Yannick. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. So you lot enjoy the football that sadly is not happening at the moment, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk.
In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me be 